Welcome to Gundam Breaker 3. This is the break edition in English on the PS4. This video is going to be a menu rundown and the reason for this is twofold. One is for all the beginners, so a lot of you from my Gundam modeling channel may not have seen this, so know that this is in English and it is an absolutely awesome game. I'm going to be running through all the features so you can decide if you want to get this or not. Secondly, this is for all the people who have the original Japanese or Chinese version of this game and for whatever reason you can't read the menus so a lot of people on YouTube may have translated the Japanese version on the fly and I just think it will be easy if you can see the menus in English in the first place. So, let's get on with it. This is the hub of the game so it's a bit like a mini Destiny Tower if you will and the first area is going to be the multiplayer section so let's go open this up and you can see that basically you got trait multiplayer and you can password protect this lobby for you know inviting your friends so random people don't join this one is obviously joining other people's sessions and honestly not a lot of people playing this game at the moment I find but you know if you if you load up at a certain time of day you should be able to find a few people still playing. The next counter is your main mission area. On the mission counter you've got different chapters going across the top. At the moment I've only got to chapter 2. And within each chapter you're going to get individual missions. These are all solo of course. And if you look on the bottom you can change the difficulty of each of these. So you begin with casual standard and hardcore I'd recommend starting with hardcore straight away it really doesn't seem that difficult for now I know when you complete the game you get you know you unlock extra difficulties and new type being the toughest in the game moving along on the bottom you've got the triangle button which is your escort setting this is basically bringing in NPCs so you can see there you've got Misa the main protagonist and you've got Robota which is the SD Gundam which unlocks at chapter 2 where I am right now and what's cool about this is with Misa you can sorry let me just get to the right mission with Misa you can actually load design using the square button once you've selected her and what this does she she basically loads in with her own suit but you can actually save your own suits that you would use anyway throughout the game and actually give her these to use so I've given her one of mine at the moment so that is a pretty crazy feature so very very interesting there indeed so we come out of this menu and go over to arena in bounty hunter mode you select two opponents to face off in an arena this list is basically scaled off your current rating so the stronger you get the stronger the opponents in this list it's the main way of making money in this game and interestingly this is actually a very good way of getting ahead and basically sourcing higher level parts than you would do in the solo missions in the game uh, because you are or you can or you have the choice of uh, fighting higher level enemies if you want to so if we back out of this we have challenger mode this is basically a series of solo missions that you can attempt they have different modifiers such as defeat X amount of enemies, don't get hit in this round, etc, etc. Leaderboard is exactly that. You have weekly and all-time leaderboards between your friends and a global checklist as well. What's very interesting about this actually, if you load in and have a look at who's doing well, you can actually look at what models they are using and what build and what setup they, they have that you may want to try out yourself. Coming, moving along, we have the shop menu. In the shop menu you can buy all the actual model kits as a whole and what's interesting about this is you get the, all the real world box art and this is pretty much the main reason that convinced me to buy this game. So you start off with all the HG, you unlock the MG by completing the game for the first time and replaying, you can buy various builder parts and avatars and we can't connect to the PlayStation Store at the moment but if you select gift you can import your old save data if you've played the previous games. If you press options in this screen you can actually bring up your own inventory and you can sell things and convert to uh, GP. You can do various things in here just as a convenience really whilst you're in the shop menu. 
So coming out of this menu, you've basically got the main part of the game and this is the setup hanger. Looking at the top right first of all, you've got your setup which shows you all the current parts you're using on your model. Specification is your Diablo style stat sheet so you can do a bit of min-maxing and see what is actually going on. R1 again brings you to actions which is your equipped special moves as well as, as, well as your optional equipment. Now on this screen you can also load and save designs so looking on the bottom press square to load designs so if you've saved any this is how you retrieve your builds and the game is really clever so if you saved a build such as this using a particular part it will know that and you can't actually sell it by mistake. So if we go back the main draw of this game is going to be the assemble mode so let's go into that right now. This brings you to a very armoured core style menu system and you can see going across the top you've got your various armaments, long range and short range weapons, all the different parts of your gunpla. You can equip all kinds of parts that you collect. Each one of those has all sorts of stats uh, that you can equip. On the bottom with each of these menus, I mean, you can. I think you can collect something like 900 different items in each of these categories before your inventory is full. So, with that amount of um, items, it's pretty handy to be able to sort. So, if you press triangle, you come to this sorting menu. The first one is basically by rarity, uh, labels are things that you can customize yourself. You can sort by series you can sort by all kinds really. Um, if you press R1 whilst in this filter you can actually do it by name and level as well as others and a combination of these two once you get used to it just basically gives you all the power you need to be able to filter through all those crazy amount of parts and actually uh, you know find what you're looking for. If you press the touchpad you can convert an item into money so this saves you going into the shop menu and it's a pretty handy feature that they've put that in this screen. So there's also the square button which is your merge button. Now this is how you upgrade an item. I'm not going to go through all the uh, ins and outs of how you do this but basically know that this is how you upgrade your parts. All done from this screen right here. So if we come out of all this You've got paint and photography mode, so they go hand in hand. You can honestly customize almost every single part of your Gundam, all the different individual parts, and a whole load of settings here for you to deal with. In SD selection, when you get to chapter 2, you unlock SD Gundams. These are like little NPCs, and they do various things. Here you can select different types, you can select what they do, so they sometimes have, uh, you can choose you know, extra attack, extra defense, I personally like using the treasure hunting mode so they have an increased chance of getting better loot, and loot is what it's all about really at the end of the day. And similarly you can paint your Gundam, paint your SD Gundams uh, through here as well. So that's a rundown of all the menus and features in this game. Hopefully that shows you some of the more interesting features and the detail aspects of this game that sets it apart really from say another Dynasty Warriors clone. Uh, it's a quite deep this game so I think you should definitely give it a go. Uh, a gameplay video like what you're seeing right now may not really convey all the depth there is to this game so highly highly recommend getting this if you're a fan of things like Armored Core and Diablo, or Borderlands for that matter of fact. Uh, there's a big aspect on loot in this game, and the inventory size honestly is absolutely crazy, so those of you who like collecting things and levelling up and stats and min and maxing and all that sort of stuff, you're going to really, really like this. Um, so stay tuned, uh, I'll be doing a few more videos um, 
feature in this game and uh, yeah be sure to join me um, what I'm going to do also is show you guys how to actually get the English version of this game there's a few ways of doing it so I'll make a separate video running you through all of that so thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon